where you come for the trannies. Basically like an overflow tank for uh, the transmission. Okay. So kind of like that thing that you bought for your car, yeah. breather tank, except yeah. it's for a transmission. So it mounts on the front of the bell housing. Here's your vent, right? Yeah. So if the transmission gets hot enough, fluid can shoot out of there. So and so, traffic. yeah. Or oh, 4L60 gets hot, you got bigger issues. Then yeah, then you got four neutrals. <laughs> So I'm gonna attempt to make one out of aluminum. I don't know how that's gonna go. We're gonna try it. From Summit, they're $125 American to buy one, or $100, whatever, they're expensive. Yeah. And if I can make one for nothing, then I'm gonna do it. Just make a subscribe line? Well, that's gonna be the four pieces that yeah. I'm gonna cut. You're just bending it? Two by two. No, I don't have a bender. Do you have a bender? I'm gonna have to weld it cut four pieces and weld it all together. But yeah, if I had a bender, I could probably bend it. I, I mean, I could also just go buy a piece of square tubing, of aluminum square tubing too, and then just weld ends yeah. on it, right? Yeah. Did you, uh, by any chance, drain the fluid out of this transmission? Yeah. I mean, there's gonna be some residual, but we drained it. But it's got a drain plug on it. Okay. Wow, because I don't, I don't really have a container because my container has transmission fluid in it. <coughs> And I don't know if I have anything that I could put the container or the fluid into. So, yeah. Should we stand it up first? And no. Into your drain bucket? Well, no. No, I don't at least to have it in the drain bucket. I don't want to put your transmission fluid in my transmission fluid. You don't want to mix strategies. juice? No. <laughs> You're saying about taking the transmission apart. Wasn't that for that one thing in the bottom? One thing, yeah. Drilling a couple little holes. The reverse piston is the, the piston at the very bottom transmission so you have to take the entire transmission apart to do that and what does that do for us I don't know it doesn't say but it's something that only matters if you're taking the whole transmission apart like rebuilding it you can do it but you don't have to well that's what I was thinking right it's probably like, there's like, a chance we fuck up the pump yeah no I would gasket. Gasket. not for that I wouldn't take it apart okay for the 4L80 there's more there's a upgraded ring that holds the drum or whatever the piston in or something you know that's a good thing to do because they break right but just yeah apparently just going into the transmission was kind of like a yeah that's just optional that's just if you're rebuilt the whole transmission you might as well do that because it probably somewhat helps with something Or is it me? Uh, I can. Well, can you set it down and just let it drain for? Yeah. <clears throat> now this thing came out of the avalanche, obviously the Riley got the five three out of. <clears throat> and according to him, uh, the transmission was rebuilt seventy thousand kilometers. Whether there's any truth to that, I don't know. Party already has a ship getting it. I don't think so. It's a 4L60E. Flip it over now. Uh. Just hold on a second. I'm not sure what we have to do first. I think because the accumulator on the side has to come out like that. 
this has to come out. And there's some stuff in there that has to be done. And I think that's, it says step one. So I'm assuming we do that first. Full race. You can see it's cut right there. You know what I mean? This ring is cut right here. Yeah. So you're just gonna basically wedge it out of there. Give it like a little tap on the top. That helps sometimes and then just, there you go. Mm -hmm. Turn and pull up sort of at the same time. Cause there is like a O-ring on there. 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 I usually like to set everything on the bench in the order it came out. That was on there. I mean, you have the instructions and the instructions are gonna show the order of things, but oh, there's this little ring, this washer, this spring, and then this just comes out like this. There we go. Okay. Which, so we could have, it probably would have made it easier to get this ring off had we done that in the first place, which we didn't do, but that's okay. To take this piston apart, there's just a ring in there, right? That holds this, well, here, if you take this off, there's a ring that just holds this in there, this piston or whatever it is. And we had to put in the vise and use vise grips in order to get it apart. And so now we have to add a spring to this system and then put it back together, basically. So and that's it for this part? For well, this. at least for this first part, then it talks about some adjustment shims and stuff. Yeah, okay. So that's, but we, this is the first thing to do, right? Is this part. Put this ring back in. Put it in the vise for the last little bit. Do you have another pair of those? No. Go op open. Okay. This is how we took it apart. That should be good. Whoop! Or not. Go right there. What are these? Those are the shims, that's these. <laughs> so it's saying use one nut or both. Well basically, no, what it what we gotta do is we gotta put it's from according to the instructions, you put them both in and then you put it all back together without the O-ring, a new O-ring, and then you check the band. Make sure it's not too tight. And then... How do you do that? Just with like, I think just with like a screwdriver, like you just feel, I think that's what it's telling you to do. And then is it the compression that you measure? Well, we're going to measure, it, the band is underneath. I think we have to do the band measurement when the valve body is off. So much stuff on these stupid transmissions. That. Will that linkage? See what. Can I just this piston come right up? No, it's off. It's off. Okay, and then get me out of the wiring. Don't want to knock any of these check balls loose. And then this separator plate comes off, and then now you can see the. Right now. now you can see all the different passageways, right? So as the as the valves in the valve body move, they send oil to different passages, which sends the oil to different places. Does this have to do with cooling or like shifting? Shifting. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Did I get you? Well, that wasn't. That was uneventful. Effective though. Pretty much everything you do with the transmissions air will take it apart. Okay, so we got spring in a spring and a piston. Three spacers in first. Currently no factory spacers in. No. Nope. Then a spring seat. And then a blue spring. Oh, this is where they're saying, flip it upside down. 
Oh yeah, so put it this way. Right. It's just different. This doesn't have the teeth on it. Right. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, so that's where it says here. And then this spring will go. Don't inside. worry about yeah. if it's the yeah. other. And then the orange, and then that's it. Street strip, and then full, full race. race. Damn. Hope you have a Hans device. We can install original guide pin into case, and install yellow spring, then piston. This may be different than the OE setup, but it's okay. That's for the other side. That's for this side. Oh, this is this neon yellow spring here. And two little items. I don't know what those are. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here it is. It's called Orphis Cup Plugs. If trance is a part, but it's not. That's for the, yeah, that's for that pit piston or whatever. So just take this spring out and put that spring in the hole. Oh, nice. <clears throat> what do you want me to do there? Nothing. Don't touch it with a rag? No, I'll do it. Just try to do it. I knew that was going to happen. And you know, I was going to say, let's move the in transmission closer to the bench because Squirt it's going to shoot transmission fluid all over, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't over tighten them. The shitty thing with a transmission is it's aluminum, so all these threads torque them too much and you're going to rip the threads out. So I usually just go over them after or tighten them after with just a wrench or just with a socket. The wrap unwrap. This is step one of the valve body mode. Okay, so it says install the tight wound purple spring. So we just take this spring out. And we put in the tight wound purple spring. That's purple that and it looks fairly That's tightly wound. On, yeah. What's the factor one with it? There's a difference. Hmm. And then this just goes in here. This goes back in place. And we just push this in here. There, like that. Step two. Oh, step two, grind the manual valve for faster reverse release. Okay, well, let's leave that for now. I mean, if you want to, that's fine if you want to do that, but we'll do that after, or you can do it after, or whatever. Let's go on to step three. Change the spring in this one, change the spring in this one, and now we're, what? I thought it's this thing. Is it behind here or behind that cover? Here. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm looking one step ahead. I'm one step ahead of you the whole time. Now what we're doing is we're changing this uh, one, two shift valve and spacer, which will allow it to stay in manual one till like you want to shift it. Whereas from the factory, it'll actually shift sooner than that. There's a roll pin right here that you have to remove to get this piston out to change the spring. And it was a little hard to get out, but I ended up using a drill bit that came with the kit and I just put it in there use it like and then use it out. as a little easy out to pull it out. So that was that. Now, so that was the manual. Now we got to take this off. One, two shift. And change out a spring in there. The yellow spring or something it says. Step six. Take this green spring, I guess it's green, and we replace it with this yellow spring from the kit and then put this little cover back on. That's all you change in there. Basically like a game of mouse trap. Putting the shift kit all the springs in. Snakes and ladders. You're just, you're just changing the way the oil flows through things and how much pressure it needs in order to to shift and to change gears and stuff, which I guess is the same thing. You want to be very careful that you don't let the bolts fall out of the valve body because they're body. special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until they all fall out and then you say yeah. whatever. So for faster reverse release, it says to grind. Grind the manual 60, valve. 60,000, 45 degree chamfer here. Oh, so you're just chamfering that and that's it? Yeah. Oh. I, I thought it looked like you were cutting something here. Because see, this one looks like it's got a little piece missing off it. It does. Kind of. Oh, okay. I didn't see that, and I thought you were supposed to grind something in here, but you're just chamfering just the edge. Oh, so that's nothing. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna use this TIG uh, welder grinding wheel. No, you're not. Well, let's see. 45 degrees. Well, it says right there. Oh, I'm on the next page already. 63 to 96. So I'm right at minimum right now, so I'm a little more. There, perfect. I think that was done on the lathe. Use uh, five screwdrivers and a three quarter inch wrench just to take this apart from the looking at the instructions here. Maybe here's where the 40 screwdrivers come in play. Smack valve body, valve from both sides of valve body at all angles. Smack. What is the three quarter inch wrench for? Is that what you're smacking what, it with? That's your smack tool. Why do they gotta be that way? Anyways, basically you gotta get this valve out of here. According, oh. to, according to them, you smack with a wrench and a screwdriver. Well, it doesn't look that hard. Oh, maybe. Are so. they just trying to be funny? Uh, maybe. Maybe old. Spy, uh, hello mechanic. Mr. Mr. Uh, whatever this is called. Transgo. Transgo. Mr. Go. Come on, Mr. Go. That spring has to come up. Move and save original boost valve, main regulator spring, and bumper spring. So everything that's in there, I think there's a spring in here. No. So yeah, take that out. Is there anything else in there? Yeah, springs. springs yeah. And then we're gonna replace that's that. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna replace that with. Big spring, little spring. And it comes with a new thing. Boost valve. The groove in that thing doesn't look very, doesn't seem very deep. No, it's, it's in. Yeah, it's, just sits a little more loose than the other. Now it's the spacer or the spacer plate. So you have to drill holes. This one. Spring is here. Gotta get the Christmas lights down. This is how we do them. So yeah, some of them were already 93 or bigger. Getting the snow off the roof. There's only a little bit, but it's right here. This is the band right here. Yeah, that's what I said. So how do you? It feels like it moves okay, so I can't see having to take any of the shims out. It's not tight, so it's probably good like that. But I mean, read what it says Front there. Front to rear. It needs to have one eighth inch or more. So let's grab a one eighth drill for reference. How do you move it back the other way though? Just gotta kinda get in there. I'd say it doesn't have one eighth. And those are pretty thick spacers, right? So I think if we take one out, so I'll pop that cover off, take one out, put it back together, and then retest it. I'm just eating some burritos. Bar burrito. These rings are basically a sixteenth, and we were almost at a sixteenth. So we'll take one out, and that should give us the, the one eighth we need. Yeah. All right. 
Why is it not sitting flat on the corner? Oh, no, it is. Never mind. Just an optical illusion, I think. Okay, now the nut. next gasket. Do, 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 do. <coughs> There's no gasket. Mods, right? No. Other whoops. Um, I'm going to put them where I think they go, and then we'll find out if that's where they go. Hmm. The, uh, oh, there's the, one here, wasn't there? Okay, bring it to me. Okay, there we go. There. How about that? How about that? There. One more number and you own the car. One more number, you own the range. What number do you Nine. want? Nine. Six. Six. Let's see, number six. Oh, that's got it. So what was I was off by uh, 40 bucks, 50 bucks? I said 27.95 for the car. So I was off by 50 bucks, 49 bucks. Hmm. What? what? Should be okay with the bolts. Wow. Well, well, yeah. I don't know. We might have to pull this valve out. Maybe. Oh shit. This valve might have. And I dropped it in there. Oh, good one. Here's my bun. Why don't you stand on the roof and try to do it? Plus, why not do it yeah. over the cardboard <laughs> where you're not going to make Well, I wasn't mess. expecting that fucking the mess like that. I wasn't expecting a mess like that. This is this is how I've water this is how he's holding the thing. Well, yeah, it's, you go know, down like this. Oh, one, yeah, then back. you never get back up. Back. Is there a sharper corner or pour on? Pour on that your corner. This transmission mm. fluid's brand new. Dig the hole. Yeah, well, we saved most of the fluid. Ghosts. All right, so we got her all tightened back down. Other than a couple mods that you had to go deep inside for, which we omitted. That's it, that's one race 4L60. Yeah. Let's see what I can take. Well, that's how you do a uh, external mod only shift kit. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, thanks. If you don't know about nothing about transmissions, you know, I have to take them. They're pretty sim they're pretty simple overall, right? Not really. <laughs> Not even by any stretch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I understand it a lot better now, but I yeah, but we're seeing it. I hadn't even taken the fucking thing apart though. That was just the oh. Well, I'm saying a shift kit in. But the whole transmission's not really much harder at the end of the day. A few tricks you need to know. Alright, like a rock. That's it. That's gonna be it for this video, All right? I think so. Alright. <laughs> Check us later for a <laughs> Check you later. <laughs> Check you later. Put Clayton's face there. <laughs>